I certainly ran into people like uh, like this being in New York and spending so much time in New York. But no, I wouldn't say uh, he was a direct influence. Look, I mean, this th this really came from spending time with Jordan and, and reading his novel novel vigilantly and spending so much time on, on, on Wall Street and trying to really put up on screen as authentically as we possibly could uh, this culture, this world. Um, I'd been kind of obsessed with doing this project ever since 2008, really, after the economic crash. I said, uh, this level of hedonism, uh, uh, this world needs to be uh, portrayed authentically up on screen. and. Um, and, and in a lot of ways, it, it um, was a reflection of, of, of the world around us. So uh, this became, a, became an obsession of mine. And so, uh, you know, it was all in the research process of, of you know, uh, getting to know these people as much as I possibly could. You know, after having done five films with Marty now, it's been an incredible collaboration. And not only that, I, I, I've noticed that each time we do film, there's a discovery process for both of us. And on this film, we knew we weren't taking on, you know, uh, precious American literature. We're trying to portray as best we could the, uh, you know, uh, the very nature of who these people were. So f for the both of us, um, this movie took its own shape through the reflection of the characters. Plot was kind of irrelevant for him. And, and he encouraged all of us, all the actors, to improvise and re-improvise that improvisation and be free and, and really push the boundaries every single day that we were on set. And when you infuse that kind of attitude in your actors, I, I think you get a movie like this. And um, I'm, I'm just thankful that, you know, Martin Scorsese is still this punk rock, still this vital at 71 years old. I mean, there's, there's no filmmakers left like this. This man's amazing. He, he, uh, he's one of the greatest artists of our time. The, the truth is there have only really been two uh, projects in, in my en entire career that I really pushed as hard as I could to put up on the big screen. And they, they both took about eight to 10 years to uh, actually come, in, come to fruition. One was The Aviator, and I, I picked up a book about Howard Hughes when I was 21, and I, I developed that with Michael Mann, and it took 10 years to get up on the screen. Marty thankfully did that, and then this was the other one. Um, you know, I, I, I kind of created a production company unto itself just to find material outside of the studio system. And I, I, I don't know if I'm going to find something that um, I'm, I'm as passionate about again. So yes, this has great significance for me, this film. I mean, um, I'm just so proud to be able to have, you know, Marty, to have Marty be at the helm of it. I mean, there's no one better. So I'm, 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 I'm incredibly honored. It's an interesting question and one that I don't know if I have the answer to. I think every role is different. I think this film in particular took on a life of its own. Uh, we, we really, um, you know, I stopped this film and it was like a giant adrenaline dump. I mean, I, I, I haven't been able to work since, really. Uh, it, it was a, a phenomenal experience, but, you know, I, I suppose I've been doing this for a long period of time, but you yeah, you know, making movies is an interesting process. You put your entire life on hold and you try, and these characters really do envelop you, for better or for worse. So, um, thank God none of, um, you know, the attributes of this character rubbed off on my real life because I probably wouldn't be standing here today. <laughs> Look, I mean, I have no idea. I have no idea what my next role is going to be. You know, what Mar Marty does so well is portray the darker nature of humanity up on screen and he doesn't judge those characters. He's not didactic in his approach to filmmaking. Uh, that, that's a very rare occurrence. I, I can only hope to find uh, another character th that's like that, but uh, it, it was really the novel that was so honest. It was a cautionary tale and, 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 and Jordan tried to put uh, in his book a time period where he went, you know, he went way too far, became consumed with, with uh, greed and wealth and power. And, and so I have no idea if I'm going to find something this interesting to do in the future. I can only cross my fingers and hope to. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com.